Welcome, everybody, to episode one of The Eye of the Tyrant. My name is DJ. I will be your game master for this series. Um, we're super excited to finally share this for you. It is a few months in the making, um, and now we're going to introduce our players. Uh, Aaron, take it away. Oh, I didn't realize I was first. Okay, hi. I'm Aaron. I'll be playing Vesper. I'm not sure what else. <laughs> that is okay. It is you have any pluggables? pluggables? Any pluggables? Um, I'm Aaron E R Y N on Twitch. And the only well one. Aaron That's the weird Rice. thing. I am. I am the. I got that specific. Um, and I'm Aaron Rolls Dice on TikTok and YouTube and Instagram. Fantastic, Corb. Introduce yourself. Tell us about you. I'm a. Uh... Corb, aka Sally KP. I'm a professional game master and I do a bunch of improv and stuff. And I uh, like I, I like uh, pierogies. Oh, pierogies are so good. I love pierogies. What sauce do you dip them in? Sour cream, obviously. <laughs> there you go. I've heard some different things lately and I was like, honey on a pierogi? Maybe. All right. Brayden, <laughs> you are uh, up next. Yes. Hello. I'm Brayden. Uh, I am known as the tabletop tutor on Start Playing Games, where I am also a professional GM. Uh, when I claimed that handle, I had a grand intention of one day being a, a YouTube guy that explained stuff about tabletop RPGs and like doing video essays and stuff. I have plans to do that this year, but right now there's literally nothing to plug. So I'm just holding myself accountable to eventually make that. All right. PK? <laughs> Hello. I am PK. I'm a professional dungeon master over on Start Playing Games slash GM slash PKW. You can find me there. And I'm here to inform you all that a pierogi is a sort of dumpling thing. And I've never had one. Yo, let me, I'm going to back you up there because there's a dumpling place near us, you know, uh, Chinese style, but they make mm -hmm. mashed potato dumplings. And they're just pierogies. Yeah. But Absolutely. They can't call them that's, that's I feel like everybody said that they are professional DMs. I am also. <laughs> yeah. That was like a last minute tack on. That's me too. You gotta plug it. Plug it. <laughs> Did I forget to say that I am also a professional game master? Um, yeah, yeah, get out of here. I'm there's, a professional game player too. There's, there's, yeah, that's true. Well, listen. I'm going to include everybody's start playing game links uh, in the episode description for you to find us and book games with us. Um, obviously, we all met via this sphere of professional game mastering. Um, so, yeah, without further ado, uh, allow me to introduce the world in which we are in. The Atrojan Empire spans across the galaxy with an iron grip. Countless insurgent cells wage a constant war against them, unbeknownst to the average citizen of the Empire. And likewise, the Atrojan Empire crushes what so-called freedom fighters they can. Our story begins in a place that many have never seen and many do not believe actually exists. And many, oh yes, it is a lonely place, uh, a space station designated the Eye, orbiting a large and angry looking gas giant known only as the Tyrant. So. Aaron. Vesper, in fact. That's me. Welcome to the Eye of the Tyrant, prisoner. Keep your hands and feet to yourself and remain on the guidelines through the halls in no funny business. You're pushed off of the transport towards the receiving area, and the air here feels stale and recycled. The comforts of the space stations you've normally been on, or the spaceships that you've normally been on, are seemingly absent here. The air is dry and musty at the same time. And as you approach the receiving desk, a woman looks at you and says, ID badge prisoner, hurry it up. I think there's been a mistake here and I shouldn't listen. 
Oh, you think you shouldn't be night. here? Uh, hey, Gus, uh, this prisoner thinks that she shouldn't be here. What do you think? Oh, yeah, obviously she shouldn't be here. Uh, we'll get that cleared up right away. Uh, but first, we're going to have to have you hang out in your cell. Fine. You provide your ID badge, and uh, it is stamped with an ID number. And you are pushed through a hallway. As you're guided through the halls, you're led up a set of stairs. And the guard behind you says, Welcome to your new home. Enjoy your stay. The doors open up to a large habitation unit. Cells line the walls in a central structure in the middle uh, with various recreational equipment on top of it. There must be a thousand people in this habitation alone. And on approach, you saw that there were four different habitation units, uh, all in a circle. It's like a city. People gather in clicks and give side eyes as you are led, still handcuffed, to your cell. And uh, the guard says to you, well, prisoner, it's your lucky day. Uh, none of the uh, cells typically have openings, and usually you don't get rooms to yourself. But the previous occup occupants of your cell uh, both, well, it didn't end pretty. So you're going to get a room all by yourself. Consider yourself lucky. That's the special treatment that your parents ordered. As he leads you over to your cell uh, and opens it up to see a dank and awful little space with two beds on either side and, of course, a toilet and sink right in the middle of the room. If you need to, you can activate the privacy curtain for 10 seconds at a time. So make your business quick. Time. got to make sure that you know you survive this we turn now to samuel samuel you are also uh, being offloaded from a transport on a different side of the facility a much more welcoming and friendly side you see as other guards are kind of being buddy-buddy with each other and telling stories uh, as you walk through. And they go, Hey, new guy? Hmm. Yeah. My name's Jarn. Yeah, my name's Samuel. Oh, this over here Jarn. is Malia. Okay. Listen. To be honest, this is the easiest posting that you could possibly get. So, don't worry too much about what happens, all right? Okay. Usually, the prisoners kind of self-police themselves. Mm -hmm. We only get involved if things get a little too out of control. Uh, you're going to be assigned to a few prisoners, just making sure that they are escorted to the places they need to be. There's one specific prisoner here that uh, has a little bit of a higher status. Uh, families in high places. You're, you're going to be uh, making sure nothing happens to her specifically. Um, Who's that? Uh, her name is... Oh, he checks his paper. Uh, Vesper. Vesper. Oh. What, what, what block is she going to be in? Uh, she's going to be in block C. Okay. All right. I was supposed to take special care of her. Yeah. Just make sure that she survives. Her family is paying an awful lot of money to make sure that she's not, uh, you know. Harassed. Okay, I gotcha. Um, yeah. Easy enough. First week, take care of the rich girl, I guess. Okay. I can do that. All right. Uh, you're led to your station uh, where you can, you know, change into your guard uniform and you know, leave your effects in the locker. I'll get all dressed up and uh, head on out and yeah. start my rounds. Fantastic. 
Egg and Seer. You're currently hanging out in the courtyard with a young man named Winless. And he's just kind of going, man, since you guys arrived, this has been such a better time. Honestly, it was kind of a nightmare before you two showed up. Everybody was always just taking my food and bullying me, and it's kind of the worst. So I know you probably don't see me this way, Seer, but at this point, you're like one of my best friends. And Egg, you too. Absolutely. Just the best. I I heard there's a... (laughs) We're all comrades here, and that is how we show solidarity. Through the camaraderie we share with each other, our friendship will know no bounds. We will rise up and revolutionize this prison. That sounds great. Uh, as yes. Long, hey, as long as we survive. I do ask you to remember what we had talked about. Volume. Yes. As in, take uh, where you feel you ought to be and drop it down. And then drop it down further. And then further yet again. Could you give it a try? Ah, right. Hold on. Allow me to try, my friends. Together we will rise up in revolution. <laughs> Brilliant. As comrades. With hey, keep it down city. over there. Keep it down over there, you two. You're disrupting the pr- other prisoners. Of course, sir. <laughs> All right. This man doesn't know what we're planning. Windless, if you're going to insist upon accompanying us wherever we go, like an errant little shadow, may I ask you this? When you see eggs start to get exaggerated like this, could you just find some way to correct him? Maybe flick him in the back of the head? Oh, like some redirection. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Oh, absolutely. Uh, Make yourself yeah. useful, please. Oh, yes, sir. And he kind of like does a little salute uh, to you as he just kind of stands on guard. Like he's waiting for it to happen uh, because he knows it's probably going to happen. And Winless goes, did you hear there's a new prisoner? No, I didn't. Oh, she's in our, uh, she's in our new like little cell block group for meal time and all of that. Well, it would have to be somebody important for them to be making the rounds. Yeah. It's, uh, Sounds to me like maybe just kind of a aristocrat type. Don't know how she ended up in here. Well, if I can wind up in here, anyone can. Of course. The it's still early morning time. Oh, we just lost Corb's video. <laughs> it's windless. I didn't say kill him. <laughs> Everybody, uh, get, get locked down, locked down. We got a dead prisoner. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, Corb, can you still hear us? I'm going to turn him up over here. Uh, Corb, we lost your video there for a second there, bud. Oh, no, you're completely fine. I will. Uh, I will splice this together so that no one knows anything ever happened. <laughs> Absolutely. No gone, no. More bloopers. More bloopers. There's Corb. Show Corb on stream. As Corb. Oh. Uh, that's... Why is he down there? So this guy's name is Winless? What a great name. And, we're, pretty- <laughs> and we're part of the Atrosian Empire? Did I hear that right? Yeah. Etrosian, okay, cool. Etrosian or Etrogen? Etrosian. That, that didn't help. That didn't help at all. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't help to specify. All right, let's uh, resume. <laughs> you hear over the comms as a familiar sound pops up. Uh, prisoners, it is now breakfast time. Please escort yourselves to the meal area. Breakfast. Excellent. A good day always starts with a good breakfast. That's what I always say, friends. Do you think they have salt this time? 
Let's see. I'll head uh, towards uh, Block C to escort Aaron to breakfast. Escort Vesper to breakfast, excuse me. Of course. As you approach Vesper's room, Vesper, what are you doing as you kind of adjust to your new living situation? I'm still very much in shock. Um, And I think I've just completely drowned out this announcement and drowned out potentially anybody who might have been walking past or saying anything as they walk past and I'm just on the bed head in my hands just absolutely unbelievable that I'm here oh. PK um, there's knock Samuel. on the door to get the attention up up uh, Vesper yep. Vesper yep Yep. Hi, um, I'm the guard who has been assigned to your section, and uh, they've asked me to escort you to breakfast, show you around the new place. So, uh, would you like to come this way to the mess hall? More special treatment, then? <laughs> yeah, they told me that uh, your parents were pretty fancy. What's your What's your last name? I mean, who are these? He's this family that's giving you all this special treatment, anyway. Who are you? Um, Frost. That's Vesper. Frost. Okay. I think, uh, sounds familiar. Something, something up there, but come on, let's get breakfast. Uh, from what I've seen the past few days, the line gets long pretty quick, so if we hurry up, we shouldn't be stuck too, too long waiting. And, and uh, we'll some food. how long... Do I get this honor then of Well you've got me guiding you around until I'm told any differently. And you get the honor of breakfast only in the morning. So <laughs> in the afternoon and dinner you won't be getting breakfast. Oh, I, I I figured that much. I mean they do have normal meal times. Yes, yeah, we do follow the, the typical um, human circadian rhythm here. You will be getting three meals a day and sleeping uh, pretty much eight hours. Um, so, yes. Right. I mean, I guess maybe I could ask my supervisor. You're, you've got the special period. Maybe you can get ten hours of sleep um, <laughs> if you want it. But, yeah, breakfast. Let's, let's get out of here. Uh, let's go breakfast yeah okay. you led through this hall and people are some lazily making their way towards the breakfast line others not so much others are definitely kind of uh sprinting um and as you get in line you are right behind uh well egg please describe yourself for the viewers and for the players uh, I guess I should describe my backside in this scenario. <laughs> <laughs> Very what I'm looking, at. What I'm looking <laughs> at, baby. You stand behind this massive man. Uh, he, he must be at least like 6'6", six, six, well chiseled. He's got buns of steel, and he's his head, the back of his head looks around. But eventually, he does look around to flash you a smile. And though his smile is big and welcoming, his eyes belie the fact that there's very little going on behind them. Mm. And although his chiseled jaw moves when he speaks, it almost comes out in a forced projection. As he says, uh, Ah, you're the aristocrat! Um, w- when we're trying to keep things a little quiet. Oh, we, oh, just, no. lost, we just lost Aaron. <laughs> she, she got, Wait, can we still hear you, though? She Aaron? got escorted away. Yes, hello. We hear you again. There let we me, go. Let me bring Aaron back on, show on stream. Oh, I'm so sorry. It, it like is... it cut out. It just got it went. It just went. Seems it, to be a recurring thing. It happens. It really does. It's so, the internet. It is. But that's okay. We're gonna throw you back onto Aaron. There we go. Perfect. Should I just say the line again? <laughs> yes. 
All right. I turn around and I say, Ah, you're the aristocrat. Oh, uh, when we should probably keep that a little bit quieter. Oh, right. I've been practicing this with my friend Seer. <clears throat> ah, you're the aristocrat. You're very loud. How do you know this? How do you know Vesper there, big man? I think I'm going to pop my head. And I have to do it like around Egg to be seen. Because Seer's a very like scrawny man. Like short, kind of thin, pale, pale skin, kind of cropped close head. And like doesn't really make eye contact with anybody. Kind of just slowly pokes his head around. Mm-hmm. Well, you understand that word travels fast, but not to worry. I'll make sure that this one stays in proper distance, yes. Egg, do you understand that? Proper distance. Seer, Seer, don't look now. But the guard escorting this aristocrat is that ignomious one who chastised us earlier. He must not know any better. You must not know any better to be speaking to me like that. Yes, he really doesn't. Please, let us just enjoy the breakfast. Uh, no. I'm sorry. I gesture to the people running the chef line, and I disallow Egg from getting any food for breakfast. Alas, a sacrifice that must be made in the name of solidarity. Say, you're going to learn to treat me with respect. The name is Officer Apoapsis. And if you want any comfort in this prison... You will. You will learn your place. Understood, Officer Apotheosis. I always show solidarity with the working class man, including yourself. Uh, sir, Please. don't. He, he's very hand. bad with names. Don't, don't worry. He, he means best. I, I swear he does. All right, Witless. Better keep him in line. Uh, yes, sir. Okay. You all begin to move through the line and uh, grab your food and Windless looks over to you, Egg, and goes, don't worry. And he produces the gold star uh, that you were given from work. I, I held on to it. I kind of stole it. I think that makes it better. Winifred, you are a lifesaver. And uh, he he passes that off to you. Should be able to get the salt and pepper that you were looking for last time. Thank you. Of course. We gotta look out for each other in here, you know. Of course. Would you like to join us and our gang? I say, turning back to Vesper. They're really good at protecting. They're super strong. Nothing will happen to you if you're with them, I swear. I immediately look to Samuel. Is this... I don't understand what's going on here. Um, they are a, they're a small prison gang. They're... I hesitate to use the term gang. That implies some sort of criminal association. I, I, I assure like you to... that... <laughs> I like to think that Sorry. we're just prison friends. Yes. Where's my manners? Omega Crash. Convicted terrorist. Mm-hmm. Ah. I... Omega Crash. Okay, that's a good name. I like it. <laughs> Most folks call me Egg. Yes. I don't know why. <laughs> no particular well... reason. It is up to you, my friend, and... It sounds very insincere when Seer puts it that, but he sort of shoots the <laughs> phrase over in Vesper's direction. Like, it is up to you whether you join us. But in, I may give some advice. If you are new to this facility. It is good to make comrades when you can. I don't... I look back to Samuel again. I... I don't belong here at... I. I don't... I'm sorry you hey. seem like... I also don't belong here, so don't yes, worry. Yes, you do. I do! Yes. Let's not try to beat around the bush. <laughs> we belong here. But that doesn't mean that we have to 
be divided. Where well, there's mm -hmm. commonality in that. Prisoners are very welcome to join gangs if they so please. It's uh, pretty normal it's in gang. this prison. Yep. Yeah. It's it's a gang, yes. Thank you, sir. Yep. So. I mean it's a weak gang. They've got like one strong person. But that oh. could be enough. Is Okay. Sir, can yep. you describe yourself uh, to Aaron? Because we haven't done that yet. Uh, I, I tried. I tried to earlier. Uh, very, very small man. Kind of very pale expression. Uh, kind of like ruddy hair that is almost like kind of straw colored, and just very just doesn't make eye contact at all. Doesn't really respond to uh, Samuel's provocations, but just like under his breath, you could just hear kind of faint muttering of like, I can melt your brain if I choose. <laughs> uh, and uh, I believe you said something along the, uh, the, the description of about five foot. Yeah, small yeah. dude compared to me. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. uh, right. Samuel, right. please describe yourself to uh, Egg and Seer. I think Samuel is very much made in the image of me, uh, uh, just because he is a very normal person who has taken this job. Uh, he he Samuel grew up uh, on a space station. The the prison guard Samuel Apoapsis grew up on a space station uh, near the inner like ring of the empire and grew up very like indoctrinated in that world and um just very much fits the mold of the people that the empire wants and that is uh the image he is presenting forward to the people within this prison and that is the story he has presented to the to everyone fantastic vesper Please describe yourself to everybody else. Um, I think in better days, uh, you would see a, a younger girl, blonde hair, blue eyes, but it seems like over the past few weeks, like she has her her tone has just gone down. Any sort of like strength in her demeanor has just been absolutely crushed. She looks like she grew up knowing how to hold herself, um, but in this turn of events just doesn't know her place anymore and looks totally just unsure of everything and everyone that is around her at this time. Absolutely. Fish out of water uh, for sure. And as you all approach the uh, buffet line, uh, you grab your nutrient-dense paste and one portion of meat uh, with maybe a couple of green things that look like they were once vegetables um, and are able to head back and find a place to sit. Is Officer Samuel following us the whole time? Yes, that yeah. is odd. I am. Yeah, I am keeping kind of an overview of the whole group and like standing at the end of the table, not sitting with you guys, but just kind of mm. keeping a guard position at that that end, watching everything. I've got a little um, a little binder or clipboard with me under my arm and a few pins as well. That might come into play a little later. Fantastic. Oh. You you all sit down at your table, uh, your normal table, off to the side with Windless, uh, just, you know, trying to avoid any undue attention. This used to be Sears' goddamn table. Now <laughs> all of a sudden all these people crash here. <laughs> to be fair, I think Vesper's not entirely sure what's going on, and if Samuel is following these men, she's following him. And um, if he tells her to sit there, then she will sit there. She, she's just. I'm following you, so I think you. <laughs> I think we're getting stuck in this weird feedback loop of just like, we're going with Where the flow. Go? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, I like our guest star here, uh, popping yeah, into frame. In. You know how it be. <laughs> Love it. Be. Officer Meow Meow, 
What is yeah. your take on the situation? This is <laughs> this is Lieutenant Commander Jordy LaForge. <laughs> Beautiful. As you sit down and begin to enjoy your meal, uh, Winless is here. eating more confidently than Winless has before, uh, because despite the death threats that you've received um, from a couple of different people, uh, nothing's happened so far, and it's easy for somebody like Winless to assume that nothing is going to happen. And that's when Sigma said, that's not hyperperoxide, that's my sister! And <laughs> I've, I've been here for a week and I've heard that joke five times. You've heard it five times. Try living with them. I know. Look, um, one of the reasons why I'm here at the table today, um, I was going through my office and some of my filing cabinets in there, and I found this paperwork here. Uh, acquisition forms for prisoners. If anybody needs anything, there's a list of things you can request. Socks, towels, blankets jumpsuits, things like that, toothbrush, toothpaste, soaps. If you need any of that for your room, mark it down on this paper here, and I start handing out paper and clipboards to people and say, um, just mark it down, and you'll be given a pair of whatever, two bars of soap, two pairs of socks, a couple pairs of pants, whatever you need. Um, I found these in case anyone needs anything. I... I think so nice. Sears a little. So... I think I think <laughs> Sears is suspicious of this, um, and yeah, I think like I would like to try to discern whether or not like this is, you know, a thing that would be found in an office and forgotten about. And if you just like would like you know hand off these forms to people, you know, I think Sears just like looking at Samuel like, what's going on here? That yeah. this is this isn't right. Absolutely. Go ahead and roll for me. Uh, this is going to be an intellect check. If you have a specific skill that would work, you think for this? Well, I, I can. I am trained in all tasks involving discerning the truth. Absolutely. Go ahead and roll for that. This difficulty is going to be difficulty three. All right. So I haven't mentioned this to the viewers, but we are actually using a system called Cypher System for this actual play by Monty Cook Games. Um, it's a slightly different kind of system that really kind of like, it's a good balance between narrative and gameplay mechanics um, in a way that other systems might not uh, be able to juggle. So. Fantastic. Yeah, so it looks like that's a result of two. See, or something's up. That's... Yeah, these forms exist. They don't exist for most people. Uh, it's kind of one of those things where it's like, yeah, we've got these forms. We'll get those to you. Yeah. And it never ends up actually happening, uh, which is one of the reasons why the prison has a uh, rather healthy and thriving black market uh, where these items are typically sold for one thing or another. Yeah. Is there like a signature that's required for this or is it uh just kind of like mark out on the form? It's, and it's your it's stuff? your prisoner number would be what it would, would be what it would say on there, I think. Alright, yeah, um, I think I think I think Seer takes a look at it and just kind of passes it back across the table, then looks over to Egg and just murmurs Don't touch anything. Mm-hmm. Uh he looks at the form already in his hand that's filled out. Uh Thank you, We want sir. for nothing. Okay. Ah, we want... I, he shoves it in his mouth. <laughs> I said no breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> he, he spits it out. <laughs> My apologies. You know, it's not often someone in a position of authority like yourself extends their heart to people like us. And mm-hmm. I, for one, am quite grateful. What's your first name? My name is Samuel. Samuel Egg. Well met. Hello. Prisoner, You're a handsome fellow. Prisoner Crash. It's nice to see you. Thank you. 
for the compliment. I'm sorry for what I said earlier. What did you say earlier? Nothing. Uh, you said nothing earlier, Egg. <laughs> you should focus on your lack of food and meditate. Mm. Of course. My friend Seer here, why he's the greatest guide a man can have. He showed me everything there is to know about the prison. I think you could stand to learn from him too, I yeah. say to Vesper. I'm going to be holding one of those clipboards. Is this stuff that just doesn't normally come? I don't understand. I mean, I don't well, know what's going on. My understanding is that there is a certain shortage of it within the prison, and I don't want my wards to be fighting over things. I want us to have as little trouble as possible and have as smooth a stay here as we can. Because you guys true. are stuck here all the time. But you have to remember, this is a space station. I live here as well. So I just want us to have as amicable as a relationship as possible. Have us all live as comfortably as possible together. It is appreciated, sir. And that's all. Yes. Thank it's you. And so it is true. Kind. We've been out of toilet paper for the last week. Mm -hmm. We wouldn't be out if you had rationed like I told you. You have to ration toilet it's paper? It's the salt! <laughs> Seer just slowly Shit. looks over, just I like panic attack. Just, moment, just... just staring off into the distance. Yeah. <laughs> I'll start to collect the clipboards from some of the other prisoners that are also at the table and uh, gather up some of the requests and such. I think Seer looks over to Vesper and says, "From your reaction to this, I imagine that." The circumstances that led you here were rather sudden. Yeah. Yeah, but I... Yeah. Yeah. What happened? Why don't you tell us? Um... I... <laughs> I was on a... I was on a planet doing my job. Um, when... The Empire came down. Apparently the plant had been quarantined, but nothing on my equipment showed that. Um, none of my reports showed that. Uh, and there seemed to be some sort of fighting, I think, between rebels. Uh, and I got mixed up in it, and now I'm here to make an example for other people like me I guess I don't mm. this has all just been I <laughs> I don't I really don't know why I'm here that's terrible I honestly similar situation ended up in the wrong house at the wrong time and then a fire started mm. and now I'm here it's it's really I, just crazy you it's stole just... from a man windless <laughs> I don't I didn't do anything like that so we've got an arsonist, a terrorist. What did you, uh, a scientist who was broke quarantine on a blocked off planet, I suppose. What did you do, Seer? My duty. To what? To whom? I am a Templar. It is my job to police the far reaches of the Empire and ensure that heretical practices do not flourish. Due to intrigues within my order, I found myself here. Rest assured, my duty remains sacrosanct, and my integrity unblemished. Good. Is okay. the uh, question for the for the game master yeah. that the Templars and such are they a, an arm of the Empire on their own? Kind of. Separate? It's one of those things where it's like they are closely affiliated with the Empire. Mm. Um, they're not technically a part of the Empire. Um, it's a mutual agreement where okay. they help to prevent those pesky... Well, here, go ahead and roll a... Well, this is going to kind of be a history check for me, but it's going to be an intellect. 
Uh, do you f uh, it's like four for this, just for the lore, you know? Okay, well, that's lore, knowledge, and understanding, which I have an inability in, so let's do it. <laughs> oh, no. Right, <laughs> potentially get in on this? Absolutely, you can. Good effort. Uh... <laughs> but it is I a think that I probably already explained this all to Egg, and he's just like tooted out, just like yeah. one ear out the other. Like a temp what? Wonderful. Okay. Do, you think there's, do you think there's salt in the cleaner that left at the end of the table? All right, I'm going to reduce that down by one by by putting some effort or edge or whatever we call okay. it. Um, I am doing the same. Ooh. Go ahead and take an experience point for yourself and give one away, Aaron, as you crit. Uh, fantastic. On your knowledge, you would know this. Um, this is... This is something that, you know, your family on occasion has been escorted by Templars um, through some more dangerous areas um, on diplomatic missions, of course. And you know all about them. And often they are described as a bit unhinged and very dedicated to their goals as an order. You see, in the galaxy, there are certain forms of magic that are just illegal. Um, a lot of it has to do with uh, psychic and psionic type abilities, so the, the brain. Um, it is something like necromancy or being a seer not seer but a seer uh or somebody who can read minds uh adeptly um it's been a long time since these abilities kind of began to pop up uh before even uh atroja took to the stars and began to colonize out and claim planets as their own but it has something to do with a foreign and dark god that simply should not be here, according to the Atrosian Empire. Hmm. Um, could I give... So I, I can give an experience point because I crit? Yep. Okay, Um, I'll give it to Seer. Well, thank you. Um, for those at home who are cipher rules lawyers, this is an optional rule that I do in order to kind of uh, increase the amount of uh, experience points going around so that my players enjoy spending them as much as they do tearing up and advancing. And I, and I failed my role. Yes. Uh, you have heard of Templars. You have no idea what, they, what the point of them is. Um, I'll, have to, I'll have to look up that I... later ask a follow-up question absolutely um this these abilities and this foreign dark god was any of this information in the text that i pulled it was not um okay. in the text that you pulled there are only uh let me do a quick count uh because Oh, nine. There are only nine gods. Um, one for each alignment spectrum, conveniently. Uh, this foreign and dark god you know to be a tenth that showed up roughly 800 years ago out of the blue. All because of some other players that are in a different game that keep causing Ooh. havoc for my worlds. So it specifically came from the blue sky and not the dark blackness of space. Yeah, essentially. Yeah, because it okay. was before before Atroja had formed an empire, before Atroja kind of took to the stars and realized there was so much more than their own little planet. Yeah. So I think Seer is going to follow up kind of the explanation of who he is with kind of a, again, kind of just a off glance over towards Vesper and say, so on my honor as a Templar, you know, that 
I am driven to serve all the law-abiding subjects. It is funny to think of oneself as a law-abiding subject here, yet I am sure you still do in some respect. I'm here to protect and administer justice. You can trust me. Hmm. Funnily enough, I need to believe you on that. Very good. Well, aren't we a, a bunch of grapes on a vine? <laughs> Does he have a volume uh, button? I have tried. It doesn't exist. Okay. Welcome aboard. Uh, what was your name again? Vesper. Vesper. Oh, he Welcome gets aboard. your name right. Fantastic. Yes, the important ones win low. <sighs> well. I'm sorry, that was rude. Winless. I'm, I shouldn't resort to name call. And the bell rings as you are ushered off to free time in the courtyard. And, uh, Windless goes, this is my favorite part of the day. Uh, you guys want to, I don't know, watch watch some people play some games? Do you want to wanna pass the ball around? Um, mm. It's up to you. I... I'll lead you guys to the courtyard, but then... Um, Seer, can you watch over... Vesper for a little while while I go turn in this paperwork? Of course. Okay, thank you. Absolutely. Uh, so, Vesper, um, you come from a fancy family. What's that like? Um, it was normal for me, so good up until now. Got both of your parents? <laughs> Yes. Oh, man. That sounds great. <laughs> See, um, <laughs> if you said that you accidentally ended up in a house and uh, a fire occurred, I mean, no offense, but <laughs> I don't, I don't know how much information I should be giving to you. Oh, I. Oh, nonsense. Winston is a trusted source here. I would, I, listen, the fire had nothing to do with me. I it's, was it's hungry. It's like the guard said, he's our son. He said, Winston's our son. Uh, Winless, yes. Listen, what happened was I happened upon a house that I thought was empty. Um, that was large and obviously was going to have uh, quite a bit of food. A house that large, they're not going to miss it. They probably won't even realize it. If anything, they'll blame a servant and it'll be fine. And so I went in and um, it was the darndest thing. Uh, I was going through the fridge when somebody came downstairs and... I blacked out, and when I came to, I was outside, uh, in handcuffs. Lovely. Such and the house was terrible. Outside. Luck of the draw. That's what Passing I'm saying. Out right at the right. climax. You always have the right. worst luck, Winifred. But that's why we're here. I think like Sears just gonna cut Windless off halfway through. Just look in Vesper's direction. Do you believe that your family is eager to see you out of this place? <laughs> if you contacted them, they would be eager to get you out of here. I thought that was the case before I was here. So, no. Mm. Understandable, but still, you pose some value. Egg, I believe that god is our way out of here. No, I'm... nonsense. My brothers will get us out. Like I said, any, any, any day now. Yes, but as I discussed, we have to come up with a plan for if your brothers don't show up. Ah, always cunning, Seer. That's why you're the brains, and I'm the other brains. I'm sorry. What is going on? Oh, we're oh. planning a prison break. Yeah, we're going to get out of here. Yes, would you like to join us? 
in a in a prison break. Yeah, <laughs> it'll be great. Your options are that or die here. Uh, but won't they kill you if you break out? Yeah, but like if you're gonna die here, or maybe you have a chance to get out. I think I would definitely choose the chance to get out. And now we have the advantage of having a guard that we know precisely will follow you wherever you go, easily maneuvered into a position of our choosing. Once we take him out and take his ID card, we'll be one step closer towards the culmination of our plan. (laughs) (laughs) That's great thinking. I was just going to punch him. I'm just over there getting soap ready for you guys, being all nice. Oh my goodness. In my offices, folding towels, folding up warm towels for you. Y'all are over here trying to kill me, plotting my kills. Vesper, look up at the sky above us, that beautiful blue planet out there, the stars beyond. Around each one sits a planet of thousands, millions, billions of people sitting under the tyrannical thumb of the empire that has placed us in these shackles. Is it not in our nature to rise up, to strive for greater heights than where we find ourselves now, to become free? I lean over to Seer while I is monologuing. What did what did he do to get here? He's part of an infamous terrorist organization, but he is the last and least of them. He's a useful asset though. (laughs) <laughs> so mean yeah. <laughs> he's the last and least I'm like wow anyways heard I heard it's so brutal I think we got this covered with the uh, brains of Seer and the endless charm of Winifred and my uh, indomitable spirit she can break free yeah. and so just luck befell upon you all as uh, I mean, how long has it, has these rumors been circulating that I am somebody who's going to be here? You recognize me on spot. Is Actually, this very... has, is, has this just been a part of your plan the whole time to just hopefully... No, we're improvising. Okay. okay. Yes. Yes, and <laughs> we're welcoming you aboard. And don't worry, <laughs> even if we hold you as hostage, you're not actually a hostage, so... I'm sorry, what? Indeed, the appearance of her being a hostage could lend us some further credence, but rest assured, we will get you out of here in one piece. Best we... in the small window I've known you, I have never known somebody more self-assured, looking like they belong. You're a fish straight in water here, and I'm sure you'll fit right in. Yeah. We move over to uh, Samuel as Samuel heads... <laughs> <laughs> Just poor Vesper, just surrounded by three maniacs that are all just like. (laughs) I'm normal. I'm normal, I swear. Oh, Um, no, but Windless is absolutely part of the maniac group. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, (laughs) I'm I'm currently uh, in the office getting together a little package of towels and clothing option, clothing items and stuff to bring to Vesper's room and inside of one of the towels I have folded in a hastily written note in a scrawled manic hand saying your family has hired me to get you out of here um, we need to come up with a plan uh, talk to me at uh, after breakfast tomorrow we will uh I don't know. I have some sort of plan to get to, to get alone, and I don't know. I say maybe we, I, like I think in the note, I'm like also like maybe we can use those idiots from breakfast today as some sort of distraction. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Uh, you... I'm leaving that note in, in, in Vesper's and folded in Vesper's stuff in her room. Fantastic. We bounce back over to our uh, idiot friends. <laughs> I believe tonight may be the prime opportunity. Everyone's off guard. It's not like we'll get some sort of note tomorrow informing us of a secret <laughs> escape plan. We need to be active and take the initiative. That's what Seer taught me. Well, at, at this moment, uh, that three familiar thugs approach you and go, 
I see you were getting some special treatment from the guards over here. Does that have anything to do with your new compatriots? Really? Yes! Did you even think this through one bit? You're going to come and harass us after you know one of the prisoners is specially watched over by the administration? Yeah, I think so. You see, there's a promise that we made you. Yes. And we got to fulfill on it. Don't worry. We'll not hurt her. She'll be fine. Uh, but she's going to learn a lesson in not messing with anybody here. And you oh. see, as they uh, produce impromptu uh, prison weapons, I'm going to need everybody to roll initiative for me. This is a difficulty three. Mm. Hi, friends. Your ability to improvise weapons is vastly improved. Oh. Thank Egg. Thanks, Egg. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> we put a lot of work into these, actually. <laughs> Fantastic. Is that a lead pipe? I don't even know we still use those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it seems all of the lead Goodness. pipes from the galaxy just ended up here. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, fantastic. Uh, Egg, you are going to be going after your friends here. Um, yes. But we're going I, to... I think we know why. <laughs> He's just confused, you know? Uh, we're going to start off with Seer. I'm confused. <laughs> as, <laughs> as these guys begin to raise their weapons at you, um, what would you like to do? I think Seer's had enough of these guys. Like, They've, they've tried once to mess with us, and they couldn't even, like, actually hit Egg worth the shit. Now they're coming back for it. I think Sears just done with it. So he's just going to stand up and just fling out a psionic beam of force to just dome one of them in the head. All right. Fantastic. I do believe that is Onslaught Mental or yes. Force? Yes. Uh, it is Onslaught Physical that I'll physical. be doing. Okay, yeah. Uh, so it does four points of damage. It costs one uh, intellect point to use. I have an edge of one, so that's his cost of zero, but I'm going to spend effort. Fantastic. Uh, oh, to increase the damage? I d maybe. I don't know. Uh, hang on. Can I increase the effort after the damage is done up, or do I have to declare that I'm using spending effort before I make the roll? Declare before. Okay, yeah. I'm going to... Go ahead and do it before. Uh, what's the difficulty? Uh, so for this, um, you're they're only slightly higher tier than you, so your difficulty is going to be like two. Okay. Um, it's it's not much at all uh, in this situation. Uh, okay, I'm spending one level of effort. Okay. Oh, very good. Uh, he gets smacked in the head with this invisible force and kind of stumbles back for a second, uh, dazed, trying to kind of figure out what on earth it was that just <laughs> hit him. Um, next up is going to be, um, well, not Samuel, because he's not here yet. Uh, mm -hmm. He's off doing nice things for you and your friends. <laughs> uh, so that actually brings us to... Um, Vesper. Oh shit. Okay. Um I honestly think that just the combination of everything and these guys being absolute wackos, um Vesper has no idea what's going on. So she's going to just try and um run. <laughs> um and I have <laughs> I have fleet of foot, so I don't know if I can do anything with that. Yeah, like, uh, that just yeah, it means that you can get or... uh, a long distance, which is going to be between fifty and hundred feet. So we'll say about <laughs> you book it. Uh, you are now fifty <laughs> foot from this situation, um, and yeah, that that is completely that is your turn. Uh, love that. By All the right, stars, seer, can you believe this? She's an amazing runner. We definitely need to recruit. <laughs> yes, I can see that. Please hit them. <laughs> All right. Oh. It is their turn as they are going to come in with their weapons. The one who just got dazed 
doesn't know who hit him, so he's going to uh, assume it was you, Seer, uh, because let's be honest, there's no way Egg <laughs> was able to pull something like that off. And uh, he is going to make an attack at you. This is going to be a might defense roll, level <laughs> three. Cool. All right. I've got a... Oh, hey, look at that. Oh, fantastic. Uh, he goes down to hit you, and out of, you know, uh, habit, you throw your arm up, and it hurts, but, like, not as badly as it was going to hurt, and so you take no damage, yep. you know? Uh, fantastic. I'm just so used to, like, I throw up the arm, and it's just... Oh! The flesh is weak, see? I remember that. Mm. <laughs> uh, the other two are going to go at you, Corb. Corb, this is a combined attack from two different enemies, and so because of that, Ooh. this is going to be a difficulty five for you to try to avoid uh, being hit, and it is going to be a might defense. All right, I, I think I because I like put bullying you little... guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll put in a little effort this time. Yeah, uh, difficulty five, and I'm gonna I'm gonna add one effort, so I lose two from my might pool because I have edge one, leaving me at twelve. Then I roll success. Hey, Ooh. fantastic! But if uh... I may, they uh. I swing down both pipes, and I'm just like, <laughs> yeah, in either hand. Oh, absolutely. And, they're, uh, and I'm like, fellas, what did I tell you last time? Yeah. You need to go for the shins first. <laughs> did I teach you nothing from the crash <laughs> philosophy? <laughs> and, and it's great, because uh, they're going to have to spend their next turn uh, pulling the weapons out of your hands, uh, because you get a minor effect for critting on your defense roll. Um, oh. Or, you know, maybe you drop their weapons, whatever it is. You can actually describe how how uh, how that minor effect works. I don't, maybe I just grab it and I'm like, fellas! And, like, as I'm saying the line, I'm just, like, twisting them in my hand. And they're like, ah! With their wrists. <laughs> Great. They drop them. You, they drop to the ground. They look down. It is now going back to Seer. Uh, and it is going back to Egg. Uh, Samuel. You are kind of heading back towards the recreational area. You just did your good deed for the day. Uh, you feel pretty confident about it. And you see as Vesper is running away. <laughs> hmm. Is it me? What who is it? Yeah, Samuel. Oh, You're sorry. Right. I'm not used I'm to your made up name my own yet. name, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Blanks. Um <laughs> Let's see. I think. Oh goodness! I have like I think I have like a baton, but nothing amazing. I think I, if I can run up and hit one of the prisoners that's fighting uh, Egg, and just like in the back of the leg, with yeah. a club. Is that <laughs> just, possible? Just <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, currently, you are a little bit too far away. A little you bit too far. You have to okay. spend your your movement, uh, your entire move, like entire action and movement to get there. Uh, but you can definitely do that. Okay. Um, I think instead I'm going to use fast talk as an action, which when speaking with an intelligent creature can understand you and isn't hostile. You convince that creature to take a reasonable action and ah, this guy's hostile. Well, he's not hostile against you, though. And okay, that's well, what then, matters as a speaker. Okay, then I think I'm going to just choose my, use my authority as a guard to have them stop and like just be like, hey... Put your weapons down. Stop fighting, guys. Break this thing up. Yeah. And do that if I can. Uh, which one are you talking to? Uh, the leader of the group? Whoever the... Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's the that's one okay. that got uh, domed in the head. Yeah, I think so, I'll be like... All right. Hey, enough of that. You guys have been fighting. Come on. Come on. Break it up. All right. Seer and Egg. Uh, does it look like they're listening? Uh, the one is. The The leader is just kind of like entranced with, what's he saying? He's so far away. <laughs> uh, why is he interfering? So, they don't normally do that. <laughs> so I think, I think I'd like to kind of like reach out 
and like grab him by the collar. And I imagine he's bigger than me, so it kind of looks ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. But I'm just going to reach out and grab him <laughs> and just like look him. And now Seared looks him in the eye and says, I don't normally show mercy. I've shown it to you twice before. No further. You ever come closer to us again? And then to make sure that he's got the point, I'm going to look over one of the buddies that's attacking Egg and throw it an onslaught at their direction. Oh, fantastic. Absolutely. Uh, these guys, you're not going to have to uh, roll on. It falls within the ability. Uh, it is going to uh, hit one of them. Uh, let's say it's the one on the right, the one that's going to be technically closer to you. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> as he gets a concussive blast to his head essentially and he also feels not super hot about this i can i spend effort to make that damage seven absolutely can yeah like i'm I'm straight up like going to try to kill this person yeah in front of his friend all right uh and so you do uh he just immediately like his eyes glass over as he drops to the ground uh, motionless. It is going to be his buddy's turn who sees that and uh, goes, uh, yep, no, we're done. Boss, we're done, right? I'm still trying to hear what the guard's saying. Put your guards down! <laughs> oh! Yeah, okay. Yep, of course. We'll deal with this later, okay? And, uh, No, you won't. (laughs) Listen to what I'm saying. I will vaporize you. I was very clear. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, He he looks rattled, for sure, is the thing. Like, that is a thing that he is right now. And he goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever you say, bud. And they begin to check on their buddy uh, to see if he is uh, alive or dead and goes I think you uh, I think you killed him oh my god I did I didn't mean to do that I was just holding his pipe Seer did you see that I think I made that man's brain explode with my mind I didn't know I could do that it's a very dangerous power egg but don't worry I will guide you in its use (laughs) <laughs> Please! I don't want to kill anybody uh, unnecessarily. Yeah. Uh, Samuel, uh, things have de escalated here. However, there is currently a dead body that is going to be need needed to be disposed of. Um, mm. And of course, the person you're supposed to be protecting is uh, still fleeing in the opposite direction. <laughs> uh, God. Best part, it's fine. <laughs> it's all good. You can come back now. I'll have you um, know that Vesper like killed a giant like cat like saber tooth type creature <laughs> on her own, uh, <laughs> and yet chose to run away from these guys. I don't have any of my weapons. I'm yeah, going that's true. No, that's fair. Absolutely. Egg. Egg. I may have shot a guy in the hand. Yeah, yes. No, don't look me in the eyes. Oh. You know, there's very little I'm less afraid of than your mental powers. So, um... My, you're a brave man, Samuel. Thank thank you. A brave, brave man. Show me your great strength of body and carry this corpse over towards that airlock for me. Very well. I'll Shall quickly. I sing the traditional crash funeral tune. You absolutely should. You <laughs> definitely should do that. <laughs> yeah, I think you should do that. <laughs> <laughs> In revolution, you rose, sweet prince. Now you must go, sweet prince, to the. Space you belong. Oh, <laughs> Prince. <laughs> oh, Prince. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm so sorry. 
Okay, just set him down in the airlock. I'll, I'll, I'll cycle it. And all the meanwhile, I'm filling out paperwork that just is pretty much just like a guard being like, a eh, prisoner died. He had to be put down because he was being unruly. Just really just like... Not what I could do. Yeah, real cruelty, like just complete disregard for the human, for the life that was lost. And just being like, well, he was a prisoner, oh well. Just filling out the paperwork. And then I'll cycle the airlock and get rid of the body. <laughs> so I'm like, they didn't really tell me what to do about this. I should probably get a superior, but at the same time, I was the only guard running over here, so I guess I can just handle it myself. Yeah. Uh, Seer, before all of this, uh, you are able to find on the ground uh, four... Um, I want to call them knives. Uh, Shanks. Not quite. A little bit better than that. Somebody definitely spent some time on them. Um, but they'll work. Mm-hmm. I'm going to kind of like glance over at this and then look over to Officer Samuels. I managed to find three knives on the ground that belong to the prisoners here. You should confiscate these. Make sure they get out of the population's hands. Perfect. That's great. Let me... Just double check that he's telling the truth. <laughs> <laughs> he, he did it on me, so I'm gonna do it once at least. <laughs> yeah, totally. Uh, I don't have anything about actually. Yeah, this will just be an intellect check, and just be straight. Uh, I am unlikable, so uh, technically, if I was trying to deceive somebody, it's a hindered task. So I don't know if it um, necessarily applies as a asset here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, your suspicious nature makes you unlikable and any task involving deception or persuasion is hindered for yep. you. Um, okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to roll... Uh, we're going to not put levels on yours, uh, Seer. You're going to roll for me. Uh, this is kind of like a weird NPC, like, uh, you know, PC on PC combat type yeah. scenario uh, that we're going to have to figure out on our own. So... It's going to be an intellect roll. Um, you are going to Oops, sorry. I didn't mean roll to that. that, and what we're going to do is whatever roll it arrives on, it's going to be one tier below that. So that's for roll the recovery rolls. Uh, I didn't mean uh, to roll that. It was a mistake. Eating grapes and watching us. <laughs> you know, she ran. I've, I've gone back to my cell and I'm just looking for this mysterious uh, soap that should be arriving. Yeah, there's a, there's a stack of toiletries so. there for you, and you can read the note. This is a difficulty Perfect. three, Samuel. Okay. Then I'm just gonna let the dice roll, and I'm not gonna add anything. You're Mm. pretty sure that this guy uh, probably is lying to you um, about how many... I found three knives, and, like, the fourth one's already tumbling out from the (laughs) jumpsuit. I found three. Oh, whoops. Ah, well, you... One must have... You missed that one that's there. Uh, I will collect the four knives off the person and be like... But, officer, Mm -hmm. surely you can see the need to defend oneself in this prison. And I can surely see that there are no wounds on the man that died. And Egg is certainly not smart enough to do anything like that. I wouldn't underestimate him. There's uh, nothing that man would not Egg's do for freedom. Egg's just still in the background <laughs> singing. Singing and crying. <laughs> but, point made. And I go and hand over the knife. <laughs> and I will tuck them into the pouch. I don't know. I will hold on to them. Yeah, your little uh, guard fanny pack. Yep. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a normal thing everyone's got. Yeah, <laughs> obviously. Obviously. I wear a fanny pack every day. It's a cool move. They're really useful, alright? I mean, I'm not even joking. I really do. <laughs> and everybody kind of keeps a little bit of a wide berth around you, Egg Seer, uh, and Winless, who's just was cheering you on the entire time. Mm. Uh, Vesper, what are you doing? Um, 
As soon as, I guess, I broke line of sight and these guys, like, apparently being mad that I'm getting attention, I'm I'm just going straight to my cell, um, and I guess I'm seeing the stuff that Samuel's left for me, um... Uh, and I'll start to I'll start to sort through things, I guess. Like I'm here now, I may as well, I guess, make this as homely as I can. Yeah, go ahead and for whether or not you find uh, Samuel's note, uh, we're going to roll this as a. Just looking at your stuff here. We're we're gonna we're gonna make this a focus check. Okay. Um, which I believe you are actually inability, not untrained in. So we're going to change that to what that's supposed to be. Oh. Uh, it's a part okay. of being super strong willed, you know? <laughs> right. Uh, uh, th- this is going to be a difficulty that's... three. It's nothing crazy, um, okay. it's not terribly hidden. But it's one of those things where it's written on toilet paper, so you know. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Oh, fantastic. You find this item uh, with a note written on it saying that your parents want to get you out of here. Um, which, let's be honest, that seems really weird because, yes. like, they were pretty adamant about you being made an example of. Um, yep. And so that doesn't quite track with what you know. Yep. But here's the thing. Who's going to li- look a gift horse in the mouth, you know? Mm. Fantastic. Uh, oh. You hear as the bell rings again. <clears throat> All prisoners, please report to your next stations. Uh, and for you, next station, uh, written on your wall is in fact going to be labor oh fine i'm sorry what is this <laughs> just pointing at the wall like looking out to anyone in the hallway <laughs> walking by <laughs> excuse me yeah <laughs> yep uh and uh samuel you would know that you would probably need to escort vesper to uh, mm-hmm. the labor station uh, since she's never done this before. Yeah, I think I will find her in her room as she's finishing reading up that note that I've left and then say, Vesper, it's time to take you to the uh, to the workshop. Does he look suspicious at all? Um, <laughs> let's be honest. Uh... <laughs> This is a confusing say, day. I think, I think, if I can say something. Yeah. I think with the context of just with that different light that you might look me in, look at me under from... You were only seeing me as a prison guard, but now you might see me as something potentially different. And you start to see a roughness that you overlooked before. Kind of a, a general, like lack of a clean shave just like a very small uh, very small facial hair growing in just a little bit um a few like scars on and around his hands and like a few burns like on his wrist um and just some stuff of like probably a harder life lived than has been put forward so you see there is something different just just a bit more of a weathered life than the inner city kind of, you know, station, space station born person that was described earlier. And that would, would be maybe some of the suspicious. Potentially I don't know. The thing is is I don't I don't think Vesper would have interact, would have interacted with anybody like this really. Yeah. So I think in in all of the confusion, there is a little bit of suspicion there, but she'll take the note and shove it in whatever pocket she has, I guess. Um, Labor. What is that? 
I what was is, what, okay. Is, what, I, what is the labor detail, DJ? Yeah, the labor detail is, is manufacturing. What is the labor? Uh, they use prison labor here to manufacture goods for the uh, Atrocian Empire and, of course, other private companies. Uh, that doesn't sound familiar at all to <laughs> anything <laughs> corresponding with real yeah. life. <laughs> yeah. So um, I will start walking you. Uh, yeah, we're going to be manufacturing some uh, uh, armor plating for space for, for ships uh, in the Empire. And uh, the warehouse is over near cell block B, uh, in between C and B. So we've got about a five minute walk to get there. So let's get going. And as you do, uh, you kind of head through uh, this area and everybody's heading to their various stations. Uh, Corb, or sorry, Egg and Seer, you're already there. Um, you're on a new duty today. It is it is no longer... They switch it up every, every few weeks. It goes from, uh, as Samuel said, sometimes it's armor plating, sometimes it's just ship parts, uh, sometimes it's Egg's favorite thing, which is detonators. And, you know, mm-hmm. it's... Uh, they try to... Whatever it is they're in need of, they are manufacturing and uh, today it is armor plating and so you head off to a different spot than uh, you have the last few times as you kind of hear the loud noises coming from inside um, a lot of crunching and lasers and all sorts of fun things like that let me let's see I think this sound will be the best one for that that is it I'm going to try and use the sound cover to be able to have a one-on-one conversation with Vesper about actually plans and such so that we can't be overheard by anyone in the sound of the workshop. (laughs) Vesper's so out of element. She's an archaeologist. (laughs) She don't know what the fuck's going on. <laughs> Just, uh... Think, what is this? Stand over here and press that button that'll activate the machine, which will press the plates, and then it'll move on down the line. And as it just starts ka-chunking, 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 um... Now we'll just turn... Did you get my note? Um... Yes, but... Why would they send you, but not get me out earlier? Well, I actually, I, it's not your parents who are trying to get you out. At least I don't think. Oh, so the you person lied. who, I did kind of lie. Uh, it was a quick thought. Um, I, I honestly, it might be your parents. I assume they're the ones with the money, but I was. Everyone just talked about your family. I assume they wanted you out. I don't really know who's hiring me. I'm supposed to deliver you to one of the planets in the uh, more uninhabited zones, the less controlled areas, and we are supposed to figure out a way to get out of here. Vesper, none of that sounds correct at all. Uh, <laughs> what am I supposed to be doing? Then? <laughs> am I right? Am I right? Am I remembering my story right? Now? Yes, you are. You are okay. 100% awesome. remembering your story correct. Uh, to Vesper, this sounds like something that seems strange, but also maybe, right? Maybe, maybe your parents are thinking um, it's a good idea to, you know... Let the world or the galaxy believe that you are stuck here and maybe they're just kind of going to give you a new life out in the middle of nowhere. You don't know. Um, Doesn't sound great, but I mean, it does sound better than prison. Mostly. Uh, so so, 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 Okay. Let me get this right. You were hired by somebody who is giving you money. You don't know who's hired you, and you're supposed to deliver me somewhere that I've never been? I assume you've never been. 
I've never been to this planet, but I've heard of it, and I know who hired me. Gener I know the organization that hired me. And they go by a lot of different names, but, you know, essentially it's the enemies of the Empire themselves. I was put here about a month ago, or am I, I was made to come here about a month ago. I was given the orders uh, during your transport here, and I got here a little bit before you. So... So... I'm supposed to be getting you out, and I think... I'm only supposed to be getting you out, but I think we could get some help. There is that fellow Witless, and he seems really skilled in I'm probably... Sorry, some his name is Witless. I couldn't figure it out. What is his name? I think it's actually Winless. <laughs> W-I-N-L-E-S-S. <laughs> but... W-Y-N-L-A-S. But... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's got a sp he's got his fancy name, but you know, oh, she's gone. Um, <laughs> you guys having fun over there? Yeah, we are. It's been so long. Every time I like, every time I like, stop and I'm like, okay, we're done with the bit. I just look over and Solly's still doing still it. Still going at it. I I appreciate. I'm method acting. I method yeah, acting. Good. I think it's fantastic. It's beautiful. <laughs> it really is. Um, we're going to move over to Egg and Seer, uh, who are mm. hard at work on these armor platings. The large uh, metal cutter comes down. It's loud. It's awful. It's a horribly unsafe OSHA environment, really. Let's be honest. Uh, but you guys are working pretty hard as Aaron, or no, sorry, as Vesper and Samuel approach uh the guard who's in charge of this area kind of looks over at samuel and goes uh this it's jarn and he goes i know that she gets special treatment but make sure that she arrives on time from now on yeah sorry about that will do good all right have her take her station can't imagine mm -hmm. she's going to be much use on the line but move her towards the end for now if okay. you have like other work, like, like, like intellectual work, I can do that really easily. Oh yes, we'll just do put you, you in the prison papers? library. I. That would be perfect, actually. Is there? A prison There's library? not a prison library. That was a joke. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh. Oh! <laughs> I get it. At my That's old station, funny. At my old post, we had a large, uh, supercomputer that had access to all the information in the world or in the un in the galaxy and I really miss it. I do wish this place had a library. Uh, Prison well. library. That's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I oh, well. really I okay. Button pushing is this all I'm doing because I don't Yes, I... push here. Wait. Vesper, could you hand me the now. the 200 grit? Oh. Vesper, could you go ahead and grab me the 300 grit? The fuck? Good luck. <laughs> oh what? No, this is the 200. I need the 300. He needs the 200. I... Oh, yes, thank you. They say it's not stainless steel so you, till you can see the shine of your smile. We need someone to reset the hydraulic pressure. Vesper, could you handle that? How? This lever? <laughs> that one, yes. Are you okay? You just need to gauge the pressure. <laughs> Vesper, I'm going to need you to make an intellect uh, roll for me just to make sure that you uh, can even follow all of these directions all at once. This is going to be uh, with an inability. Uh, so it would normally be a level four. It's going to be a level five for you. Uh, this is a lot, and it is confusing. I like to imagine that, like, Egg and Seer think that they've got, like, a really, like, honed strategy now. Like, they know exactly what they're doing. And really, they're just, like, working on two separate things at once. And they're, like, somehow not popping into each other. But it's just sheer luck. Yeah. Uh, Vesper, you're struggling to keep up. And the assembly line is beginning to fall behind you. 
or more so, you're falling far behind the assembly line as the conveyor belt kind of stops and the guard var, uh, Jaren goes, what is the holdup around here? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm so sorry. Well, learn quickly. Hey, Egghead. How is there a manual? Can I read? Can I read a manual? I don't know. Can Am I Egghead? It's because he you didn't heard about read the, one. The exploding thing. He figured it out rather quickly. And Seer uh, here is... Actually, sir, I did the same thing. That's why they put me on sanding duty. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, Seer, make sure she knows what she's doing. Guide her through this. We'll take it slow. We'll build up speed as we go. We have quotas to meet. When you meet your quotas, you get special things. And he holds up a little gold star <laughs> uh, that you recognize from earlier today when Winless was uh, passing a star over to Egg. What is that? Get you salt and pepper. And, and other things. Okay. That's what? just what Egg likes. Get your small minis. I'm going to bribe you with their petty ex- extrinsic value. True value of labor is within the arms and the hands, the growth that you make within yourself. Huh? Clear! <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, very good. Yeah, you... Let's let's make another roll. It's a little bit easier this time uh, because you are you have Seer helping, so you're gonna you're gonna receive an asset. I think and also, I'm I'm also gonna use the ability anecdote, which I can lift the spirits of a group of creatures and help them bond together by telling them an anecdote. And for the next hour, those who pay attention to my story <laughs> are trained in a task of my choice that's related to the anecdote. Fantastic. So as long as I will, I will tell a story. I will say, back when I was uh, one of my first jobs was in a machine shop, and we would uh, make the n- uh, nose cones of the uh, deep space fighters for the Empire. And one guy got his hand; he stuck his hand in an arm press as a joke, and it just cleaned it right, cut it, cut it right off. So, don't do that. Anecdote over. What did you do with the hand? And we threw it out of the airlock. <laughs> it was mostly squished. So we just kind of took the whole plate and threw it out. Because it was just really covered. Good, Good night, sweet prince. Can I just press the button? That seemed like the easiest task to do. Yeah, but the timing on it's tough. No, no, no. You get special treatment, prisoner. But you gotta earn that role, and you just see this uh, this guy over there uh, pressing the button. Boop. <laughs> Boop. <laughs> That's Phineas. I hear he gets five gold stars a day. Oh fuck, Phineas! <laughs> hey, <laughs> you know what wonder. you've done. It's why they're short on toilet paper. He uses all his gold stores on gold stars on toilet paper. <laughs> takes it from the toilet paper king (laughs) what is this 2020 (laughs) i was getting there i was gonna think of a way (laughs) eventually you get into the groove of things and it is the most hard labor that you have ever done in your entire life vesper uh you're picking up these large pieces of of uh armor plating and you notice every now and then an extra little piece of metal is chopped off that is just perfect enough to kind of conceal and use if you need to um oh I um mm. I'm going to try and take that little yes. bit of metal. Absolutely. Uh, I will May as well add, embrace it, right? <laughs> I will add that to your inventory real quick. Uh, I mean, you're in prison, you know? You gotta do what you gotta do. Ah! It's, it's, 
not allowing me to expand your character sheet because there's a character sheet in the way. Silly rule 20. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Vesper. Uh, I yeah. saw you running today. I think, given your speed and your knowledge and your insider information, you would make an excellent addition to our squad. Wink. <laughs> did, did you just say wink, Egg? Uh, well, I used to try to wink at Seer when we were in the bunk beds, but he said he couldn't see me winking. So I started saying wink out loud instead. Uh, right. Didn't Seer already invite me to your little gang? Oh, of course he did. Wink. <laughs> Clear the deck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what's the plan? I, I thought you guys were the masterminds. Right. I'm not I'm your, the brains, I'm not... and Seer's the brains. <laughs> I don't think I'm near enough to hear you guys talking at the moment. Because I don't yeah, think I... you, I don't think Egg or Seer know that I'm part of an escape plan as well. Oh yeah, no, we have no <laughs> idea. Yeah. Uh, Seer's just going to kind of look over and go, we should talk about this later when we have more free time, but yes, we should get something planned. That and I kind of like inch a little bit over to Vesper under the guise of uh, trying to explain more of the machinery. Of course, only if that is what you desire. Do you wish to escape this place? Potentially, I'm gonna look over and see if I can find Samuel anywhere. <laughs> Just, I'm nearby. Yeah. Is he in the vicinity? Oh yeah, okay. he's he's kind of standing over on like the opposite side of the room as the other guard, you know, kind of watching everything that's going on. I mean, yeah, I guess well Um I think I'll... Can I sleep? <laughs> you right. And and we are can... You are potential Wait. asset to our plan, but you are not required to be a part of it. If you wish to back out, if you need time, you may do so. But Egg and I will not be waiting forever. We're getting Hold out of Hold on a place. minute. Can you sleep? Is that a skill you have? <laughs> that is not a skill just... Corp has. Or Egg has. It's no, Seer can attest. That's a skill a Egg day. has. It's been a, a very... It's it's been a long day. Um, of course, this must be all very bracing for you. A bit, yeah. If yeah, if I could, if if I could just get back to you tomorrow. Can of course, I... we'll have to we'll have to postpone the plans. Am I ruining things? If you're no, we didn't have any plans. Winless kind of like goes in and goes they've been talking about this for months and they act like every day is the day that it's going to happen. Uh, oh. it's, re it's really just when when an opening happens. Really, I don't think they've thought all of this through but oh, okay. they're they're great to have around to keep you safe. So I just go along with it. Sure. Sure. Okay. Yeah, um, yeah, if I could just, yeah, I'll get back to you guys tomorrow. So of course. Wait. One more question. Would you say this corner is 90 degrees or 89 degrees? Well, this is something I'm That's good at, actually. It looks like... Yeah. <laughs> that, that's a cutaway line we can end the scene <laughs> and so uh, that is a cutaway line I'm so sorry I'm over here I'm, I'm chatting with a prison guard I got something I want to say to, to say to one of these prison guards over there uh, Jara what is, was it Jara Jarn 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 that's right I'm, I'm misreading my in Jarn Jarn um I got a few of the prisoners. I got, a, I got about a good 15 of these forms filled out, people asking for extra socks and towels. I want you to give these people these socks and towels. 
and everything. And then next week, take away one sock from every room so that for every two people to a room, there are seven and a half pairs of socks. I'm all about that psychological warfare. I get it. They 100%. will turn on each other. Be like, who stole my sock? Yep. <laughs> yep. Or it was It'll lost happen. in the wash. <laughs> you know? Uh, fantastic. Sounds good. And the alarm goes <laughs> off and says, uh, everybody, please head to your meal stations, please. All right. Oh, it's uh, dinner time. Oh, she goes by so fast. Hold on. Samuel lied to me. Three meals. This is two. Oh. Well, you what? missed your first one fighting. You ran back to your room. You missed the call. Uh, there is actually only breakfast and dinner here. Uh, lunch is a closely guarded uh, special privilege. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Takes five gold stars to get lunch. Oh. Shit. <laughs> uh, I need to fix Aaron's camera. Hold up just a second. Yeah. What else has Samuel lied to you about? <laughs> Everything. <laughs> what I do, baby. There you go. I don't believe walk. it. Samuel is an honorable man. I will, um, on the way back, walking, walking to dinner with Vesper, I think I'm going to have us I'm gonna try and make it so that we're a couple steps, a couple feet like ahead of Egg and Seer. But I will say that if they want to try and overhear this, I believe that they could during this conversation. Egg um, is not trying. Okay. <laughs> but, Egg has no interest in the conversations of other people. <laughs> I'm gonna be having a a hushed conversation with um with 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 Vesper and saying. So I've noticed that um, they bring in new prisoners twice a week, and on that second transport, they uh, ship out anyone needing special medical treatment or any of the manufactured items that we bring or that we create here. My thought is either smuggle you out in some of the items that we make, or I can walk us into the medical wing uh, impersonating uh, I don't even need to impersonate anyone I can just walk us in there as your guard never mind I don't need to pretend to be a doctor but we can fake some medical records and try and get you on a ship out of here and then when we're far enough away from that base try and divert that ship do you have any experience taking over any anything like that doing anything like commandeering a I, ship I, I mean I I piloted a ship, but I don't necessarily have tons of experience. I can try, okay. though. Um, um, the, I'm good at flying, two, I'm just not great at fighting. The two, um, special prisoners? The your friends? Your, your gang members? I guess so. Is that <laughs> what mm. they are now? Yeah. Um, yeah. Do you know that they keep talking about making a breakout? They are. Tell. <laughs> well, that's very, very serious. Um, I might just have to have a conversation with them about that. I turn back and just kind of look at them. <laughs> hey, Sam! <laughs> Hello. Um, you fixed the spotlight. That's great. Thank you. Um... Ah, uh, okay. They're trying to get out of here as well. I mean, if you were looking for people to pin it on. Pin it on, I don't. I mean, half of what I do is... I, I like being a little flashy. That's how I got this job in the first place. So, um... I don't think we need to pin it on them. But the issue is that those ships have... A uh, security force on them and taking them out would be more difficult if it was just the two of us. But that Templar and that Meathead could both prove quite useful in that. <laughs> and Windless, there's something special about him. I can see it in his eyes. He's got something there up his sleeve. Are you sure? 
He's just smiling along, just <laughs> having a wonderful day. <laughs> There's something about him. I think he's more important than the other two, really. If I had to okay. guess. I mean, you've been here longer. I'll I'll trust you. I guess I, I don't. So it doesn't. I just don't. As look, if if I'm being honest, none of this none this feels like a haze right now. Um. Yeah. 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 That's uh. By haze, do you mean you're? mentally within a haze and you're confused or does it feel like you are no, being tricked just both okay fair enough well i can tell you that i'm not here to haze you i don't really take part in any of that sort of tomfoolery i do take part in some mental games of hiding socks from people but <laughs> I guess that is kind of a hazing thing, too. Yeah. No, I'm not going to do a breakout haze. Um, I just turned around. Seer. Egg. Come here. Yeah! <laughs> I think he cuts off our whispered conversation of Seer getting close to Egg and being, the plan is not off. All right, there are two medical facilities that disport every week. <laughs> Special prisoners that need assistance. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and fake a diversion and then go ahead and take out the crew on board. Are you ready for... Uh, yes, so, um, we were just talking about waffles. Wonderful. Well, then... Um, Oh, gosh, I don't I like think this, is, this is not sugar. A, this isn't a safe place to talk, is it? I don't think so. <laughs> gosh darn it! I'm gonna I'm gonna wait to con- I'm gonna wait to continue this conversation with Seer and Egg on on the yard or in the workroom where there's where there's less chance for talking or there's less chance for being overheard. But sure. the the um the the seed is planted with with Vesper in she could spread it during the lunchtime when I am not being all chummy with them. Absolutely. I guess, or during dinner time. Uh, and speaking of dinner time, you are all kind of uh, coalescing into uh, the line uh, to grab your food. And nice, it's quiet. Uh, Egg, you have a star you can use on some extra provisions for your meal uh, that, of course, Windless handed off to you. And you guys grab your food and go to, once again, your normal spot. And as you're sitting there, <clears throat> Windless goes uh, to Egg and Seer and even Vesper and be like, it's kind of weird to have like a guard with us all the time. Yes. Well, it does have its perks. Yeah, uh, that's true. Um, well... Are you guys seeing this? If you put a fork down in the mash in a crisscross pattern, it's like a waffle. Very good, Egg. Good loves waffles. <laughs> good job, Egg. You really missed breakfast this uh, morning. Yeah. I wonder why. You know, I, and Windows you know, just kind of looks I... over at you, Samuel. <laughs> you know, Egg, I hear sometimes they put gold stars inside of the mash. You should go and look for one. I'm not falling for that, Seer. <laughs> Everybody knows they hide them in the bees. <laughs> yes, you were saying windless. <laughs> oh, nothing. I'm just glad for the company, honestly. Uh, you guys have been really fantastic. And he just, his eyes roll back in his head as he looks quite unwell and his nose begins to bleed. Seer, I'm doing it again. Winston! I'm gonna... Re- no. Was he okay? I'm gonna react and start actually doing my job a little bit. <laughs> um, and immediately, like, see him becoming faint and bleeding at the nose and run over and check on him and yeah. then call for a medic if I think it's necessary. And he kind of goes limp in your arms for a second as he comes back to and he goes <clears throat> hey 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 so much blood it's a little bit you're bleeding a little bit what's up no not what mine happened? i'm what do you mean i'm going to go to my room 
Uh, what just happened? No, no, no. You can't go to your... What happened? What? We need to get you to medical. You just collapsed. Samuel, it's awful. I've gained these mind powers, and I unleash them unwittingly on the people around me. No, no. I'm a danger it's, to society. It's you're, you're fine. More you're than fine. I already was. It's not you. It's not you. Don't worry. It's it's just something that's always happened since I was a kid. Uh, don't don't worry about it. We'll, we'll talk about it later. Uh, and uh, he looks to you, Samuel, and he goes, uh, I, I could use some help getting back to my room, if possible. Okay. Yeah. I am... Guys, uh, oh, god dang it, all right, yeah, you two watch over, watch over Vesper, I'll take this guy back to his room, fill out the medical incident report, and be back in about ten minutes or so. Sure, we'll watch over <clears throat> Vesper, wink. Oh, and... <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and as uh, you and Winless get up and begin to walk, uh, the corridor, the the open air kind of city prison that everybody is stuck in, um, it's pretty empty. Everybody's either at one of their workstations or their meal stations, and. Winless looks over to you and goes, Oh, I knew I had a weird feeling about you. Hmm. But. What's that? You're a helpful guy. Just so you know, it's not going to be your fault. And. There's something coming. What are you talking about? It's feelings, really. It's something. Something bad is going to happen. I d- the, the specifics are not known to me, and when it happens, I, d- I, don't, I don't know. But it always happens. Okay. okay. There's no way to stop it. I, I need you to know that. All right. That's, that's fine. Let's get you back to your room there, Winless. Samuel, and... I think a lot of people are about to die. Yeah, I've been around a lot of death myself. It doesn't feel good, but I'm going to get you back to your room. It'll be all right. Don't uh, worry about it. All right. You're okay. Yeah, of Come course. On. Oh, early nap will do me some good usually anyway. Yeah. Um, Egg, Vesper, Seer, you're alone at your table. Is this normal for your friend? You guys have seen him do something similar, but not to this extent. Oh. It was it's usually he just kind of goes blank uh when it happens. Windless yeah. is a creature that attached itself to us relatively recently. <laughs> I would say that I've noticed them perform this aberrant behavior a few times in the past. I've not given it too much heed. It's possible it could be untrained psionic powers, similar to what initiates and the Templars experience. Understandably, I've been focused on other things. Sometimes he stares out so long, I steal some of his bees. Will it be all right? It is relevant whether or not he'll be all right. Windless is not part of our plan to escape. He isn't? <laughs> no. What has Windless oh. done for our group? But he's the heart and soul. He's our our uh, our pony boy. Bony boy. <laughs> yes. Wait, did you say bony boy or pony boy? Uh, I I don't think they have the outsider, so let's go with bony boy. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> he's our bony boy. Now, what's a you pony know the boy? Insiders? <laughs> the insiders. Yes. Yeah. I don't. I don't watch hollows. It's the uh, yeah the insiders that show about prisoners inside. Yeah. I don't know. It's it's uh it's part of the the crash canon. Of course. I read it many times. 
Mm. Windless may be our heart and soul, but he is also a nuisance. He has brought nothing but attention in our direction and has not contributed anything of value to our operation. Windless is... Hold on. I'm sorry. And she points to Egg and he's not brought unneeded attention? Yes, but he's brings with it a fair amount of strength. Right, right. Um, are we implying something here? Problem. No. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> well, speaking of your strength, I may have thought things over a little bit sooner. Um, I could potentially help you guys break out. Um, and I believe Samuel will help as well. Samuel, why? I think he's... I'm saying this out loud and I'm starting to doubt it, but he told me that he was paid to bring me... help me out? And do you trust that? Saying it out loud, I no longer trust it, but I was trusting it before, and I, I don't know. That's a smart Oh, instinct. come now. Come now, <laughs> Seer. As Alpha Crash always used to say, never look a grift morse in the mouth. Mm-hmm. Alpha Crash's advice is very specific to the Crash family. I think we're in a different situation altogether here, Egg. <laughs> I mean, if he can help, though, it, he's So seen... he's... He is a guard on the take that has picked up a job to transport you elsewhere. That's what he said. And maybe, I don't, maybe, I don't know. I have only really been here for a day. Maybe I'm just talking nonsense. No, you are not. You must realize, Vesper, that if you do not take control of your situation, you are going to continue to be directed by all these different people and you will be helpless on a string. You have to take charge of this now. You have to decide for yourself what you want and how to get it. Okay. Yeah. And I'd recommend, you know, uh, starting with the first one. (laughs) The first one what? Egg? The first thing he said. (laughs) 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 That's right. Samuels may be an aide. I believe he will be an aide as well in our plan, which was to knock him out and take his ID codes. Uh, Okay, maybe you should tell me exactly what your plan is. So you plan on knocking Samuel out, and were you planning on having me as a hostage? Well, perhaps. My original plan, I must say, was to get egg to inspire a sort of prison revolt. He has a very charismatic personality, but we've been very slow on that regard, and haven't really had much ground sway. So we'll have to go for a why. more direct option. They I don't understand like either. parasites for a couple of weeks. That was yes, your suggestion. I don't, we, I don't believe it was. I do not recall ever saying anything along the no. sort. You said there were no friends here, only parasites. I did say that, yes. But, anyway... <laughs> You're just kind of like shifts about a little in the seat. I think at this point, Vesper's starting to feel a bit used. <laughs> like... Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Did you prefer to be called Parasite? No, no, no. no. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, well, I don't know. Let us be clear, we're all in a position where we are trying to get out of this place and look after our self-interest. Okay, and how do I know that you... that the both of you um, aren't absolutely terrorizing murder criminals who will just kill me as soon as you escape? Oh, I am a terrorist, but I, I don't murder. <laughs> Usually. A terrorist of that, what then? What happened in the yard was an aberration, I think. Oh, I, uh. <laughs> Vesper, let me tell you a story. Was 
Two hundred years ago, Alpha Crash first founded the Crash Clan, the matriarch of a great family. And she wrote a great manifesto, the Crash Manifesto, vowing to overthrow the Empire and bring a utopia to every man, woman, and child, and non-binary person in the galaxy. Our mission was simple. Destroy every resource the Empire has, bring them to their knees, and in the chaos, egalitarianism shall reign. I live by that philosophy, but we don't kill. Instead, we aspire to create chaos. And through that revolution. Anyways, I was blowing up a supply depot when they nabbed me. Um, right. What sort of supply depot? An imperial one. Okay, and what, what were you they know. doing out of, out of curiosity? Ship fuel, ballistics, <laughs> surplus food, uh, right. your ships. Right. I'm going to take a wild guess. Um, you two have heard a lot of rumors about me, but you probably don't know who my parents are. Exactly? No! And the name, no, but I may be familiar with them. Who are your parents? <laughs> if Aegis blown up an Imperial depot, that depot may have potentially been my father's depot? Oh, awesome! Wait! No, 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 Are no, you no, a, no, 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 not awesome. Samuel walks back up to the table. <laughs> <laughs> You're so good at standing completely still, Corp. I thought you were frozen for a second. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So, Samuel, you have dropped off uh, Windless at his uh, cell mm -hmm. and heard, headed heard back to back. the, uh, after the, you know, not ominous at all warning uh, that you were given by him. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, it's at that time when you arrive back at the group, the bell goes, uh, everyone head to your next station. And for you guys, that is free time again. Oh, mm -hmm. hold on. <laughs> As he finishes oh, Windless's right. food. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we going? Free time. Let's go. Free time. Yes, let's. Evening free time. Come on. And free time goes by uh, uneventful. You're able to, you know, unwind or relax, um, do what you need to do before everybody is ushered back to their yeah. cells for bedtime. A moment before we go to bedtime. Yeah. I just want to, uh, on the way, on the walk out or at, during free time at some point, I will say, y'all ever heard Windless talk about something bad happening? He was talking... He was like, oh, a bunch of people are going to die, and it's not going to be your fault. Well, he was looking to me, and I said, all right. Anybody? anybody I've seen him go into that? an episode before, but I've never heard him speak of it. What mm. did he tell you? He said something like he gets feelings when something bad is going to happen, and that it always happens. And... I don't know. Sounded like something weird. I assumed it was kind of a little bit of the general madness that can go on in the prisoners. But just that coincided with the nosebleed and everything. It's just odd. Just odd. Wait a minute. Does this mean Winless? Win 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 Winifred is is psychic? Seer! Do you think this means maybe he was the one who exploded that man's brain? <laughs> Potentially, Egg. Potentially. I think you're oh. onto something. Thank the stars. He's a hard time staying oh. on topic. Officer Samuels. Mm-hmm. 
We don't really know each other. But you know my story. Mm Mm-hmm. Templar. Yes. And while I am no longer a part of the Order, I still consider it to be my task, my vocation. Mm Mm-hmm. But you allow me to wander from my cell and escort me to Windless. Sure. Sure, I can take you to Windless. Well, uh... We'll just walk the other way around the cell block. We can you can pass by his cell and say hi to him, see what's up. On the way back to bed. Thank you. And then on the way back, we'll I'll escort Seer towards Windless's cell and, you know, give him a couple minutes together. As best I can. Yeah. He is currently laying down in his bed. Uh, looking ill and he looks up and oh Samuel Sir it's it's good to see you Mm -hmm. so we wanted to talk to you about what you were saying earlier Sir thought his Templar training or past might be of some use here. Help oh, you with your problem. It's it's nothing. I, it's just an episode. I think Seer's going to have the most like hum soft tone he's ever adopted. Uh are we in the cell or can we kinda like walk into the cell? Uh yeah, you have a guard with you. Uh guard can absolutely access it. And you kind of this is the first time you've seen the inside of Winless's cell. Um he's young. Right? He's, you know, like maybe 20, 21 years old. Um, And he is in his own cell, which is, again, a rare thing. And on the wall, he has uh, some pictures very well drawn up. Um, I'm going to need you to make a intellect check of some sort for essentially kind of like a perception would my uh would my magic training at all apply here um i will allow it yes intellect uh what's the difficulty uh difficulty for this is going to be a difficulty five okay uh i'm going to apply some effort that's it very good. On the wall, you see very well drawn uh, things. Just absolutely. Uh, Windless is quite the artist. Um, and you see a uh, picture of yourself, uh, of Egg, and Windless, um, just kind of like, you know, almost like a photograph, like a keepsake type memory. Um, and you see that he has actually been recently, uh, probably within the last few hours, uh, since this is the first time he's been in his cell since, uh, Vesper arrived, uh, has been begun drawing Vesper in as well. Currently it's just a bit of a line drawing, but, uh, you know, kind of the group, um, and the starts of a stick figure that you can guess to be Samuel of some sort. And uh, also, you see other things. You see an incredibly intricate drawing of what looks to be the sun. Um, It has these scythe-shaped objects all around it, uh, like, like almost radiating off. And a picture of a ship. A ship that you don't recognize. Um, Samuel, you would recognize this ship. Mm. Uh, This ship is one of the uh, troop um, kind of like fighter transports uh, that they use to defend the station. And uh, he looks, Windless looks at you guys and goes, really, any time that I get to spend with you guys... 
I, I, t I truly do cherish it. Windless, I have been cruel to you. No, no, don't worry about it. No, it is the fact. Don't diminish it. I have been cruel. And for that, I am sorry. Oh, no. It's Tell not... me, do you often see things in these episodes? It's rare. Um, I've, I've had these episodes since I was a child. Uh, the doctors always called them seizures. Um, but within the last few years... Well, it's, it all started that night. Um, when I got caught, I had an episode, and I saw myself here on the on the eye uh, with you and with with Egg. Um, when I came to, everything around me was on fire, and I ran. And that was when I got arrested. I understand. I, I'm very excited that you f four will be getting out. I'm very happy for you. What do you mean we'll be getting out? I don't know. I don't know the details of it. I just know that... You're not going to have to worry about this place for terribly much longer. Okay. And in these visions, do you ever see yourself? It's not like a dream where I can see myself, but rather it's as if I'm seeing through my own eyes. All of them always have come true. Where you don't see yourself on the ship with us, then? Escaping this place? In your vision? I haven't seen much beyond that. I've just seen... Uh, you okay. f four, uh, the new one as well, getting on and taking off. Okay. Thank you, witness. Of course. Please, get some rest. Of course. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll leave. <laughs> I'm going to stand up and walk outside and just kind of like walk straight up to Samuels and just say, All right, you're not a guard, so listen up. Okay. We may be dancing around each other as to exactly what our intentions are, but if what we've just heard is correct, then all of that doesn't matter anymore. The escape, Vesper, none of it. We're the only ones that are going to make it off of this thing? Is that what he was saying? No. Okay. What he was suggesting is that he has some sort of gift of foresight. Mm hmm. An oracle. Yeah. My understanding was that we were the only ones that were going to make it out of there. Because he was Is very, it... very ominous earlier. Well, then we need to move quickly. We need okay. to inform the wardens so that they can fetch the Templars and they can come and destroy this aberrant before it threatens anyone else. Destroy. Windless? Yes. Because he can... You don't like that he can see the future. It is not that I don't like that he can see the future. The fact that he can potentially see the future is a danger to everything we hold dear. Okay. I don't care if you're masquerading as a guard. You do me this favor and I'll help you with whatever it is you need. Okay. Well, we can get off this I, I you know all right I was <clears throat> hmm I yeah okay I'm here to help 
Vesper get out of here. I was hired by the Rebellion. And, yeah, I'm not going to lie, I could use your help getting out of here. I could use Egg's help getting out of here. At this time I'm talking, I will be pulling out the daggers that I took from him earlier, handing him two of them. I'm just taking them and listening, like, <laughs> yeah, 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 all right, we're getting, we're getting caught up, <laughs> yep. all right, good to hear, good to hear. <laughs> Finally, professional talking. So, <laughs> my plan in, you know, in my wildest of dreams would be to blow up this whole thing as we leave. The whole prison. Because as far as I'm under the impression of and my belief system is, everyone who is here is already dead. They have been taken by the Empire and they're not getting free. So they're either dead men living on this station or Imperial Guards. Either way, nothing will be lost. I am supposed disagree to disagree with you on the ideological purpose, but I understand the <laughs> pra fa efficacy of it. Let's do it. I'm here to get Vesper off the space station. Uh. And then you guys can help me with that. I will help you escape and we will take care of this aberration then. Because quite honestly, I don't like this psychic mumbo jumbo anyway. Because I've been I grew up on a planet with I don't get out of that. Okay, great. <laughs> Wonderful. Let's go then. Back to your cell. Um Plan being right now we've got a transport coming in three days. Bring medical bring the infirmed off of the station as well as take a shipment of that armor plating we just created. So either we can try and sneak you onto that ship as carriers of said cargo or as someone infirmed. Which one would you like? Well, I have been feeling unwell ever since they stripped me of my body, so I suppose unwell would make most sense for me. I would suggest that if you send the message up the chain of command that there is an oracle on this station, they will take precautions to deal with Windless, and that itself may provide us with some opportunity. Okay. Go with them. I will... Um, I will amend the medical paperwork I had filed earlier, which I had put down as to some sort of brain aneurysm, <laughs> to an or oracular episode. Yes, if need be, you can mention that I was on scene. It should count for something still, my pedigree. Templar's recognition and observation would be helpful. Okay. Sounds good, then. Tell, tell Egg. I will make sure Vesper is aware of the plan. Fantastic. It you... is so good to finally speak to someone who understands my language. Yeah, yeah it's... I love speaking in lies, but it does feel good, to be honest. Alright. See her. Good luck. I will talk to you tomorrow. As you leave Seer at the cell, you head back to the locker room. You pack up your stuff. When Jarn and Malia approach you and go, Hey, did you hear? Hear what? Solar flares. We're going to be stuck here tonight. Hmm. I was feeling a little warm, but I suspect that's probably not what you mean. Okay. Yeah, they uh, they said that all flights are going to be grounded for at least a week. Do, those, do they pose any threat to the station itself? As far as they know, no. Um, should be good. We're pretty shielded here. It's not really a lot that can get past that. Um, but for transports coming in and out, apparently yeah. it can mess with navigation. So, uh, mm -hmm. looks like uh, looks like we're here for the long haul. Uh, but hey, overtime, right? Great. I love having all this money to spend at the lovely shopping opportunities on this space station. Listen, it's temporary post. You know, yeah, a few months on, a few months off. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Plus, 
I mean, that's going to be so much bank. Yeah. I guess we got something to look forward to. All right. Well, I got to go stop by Vesper's room one more time, make sure she's, you know, check on the daddy's girl and all that. Yep. Got to keep them safe. Yeah. It's weird, right? Like, life imprisonment and, like, we got to, like, pamper the VIPs. That just seems stupid to me. Like, how were how were her parents going to even know? Like, you know, I found that people with a lot of power see a whole lot and also miss some of the most obvious things that are right under their nose. So they might know exactly what's happening to their daughter in this prison, but have no idea what she was doing at her own house. It's a very odd blind sight that these people have. It's, uh, so, it's awful. Yeah. All right, well, see to it then. See to it. Evening, sir. I will see you in the morning. See ya. Boop, boop, boop. Make my way on over to Vesper's room. Uh, before I make my way over to Vesper's room, I will amend the paperwork in the system to note an oracular vision of, of things okay. and describe within it the images on the wall of the sun and the solar flares having been drawn out before the fact that I heard about them and probably before the fact that it was spread through the space station as news because he was drawing them over like dinner time or before dinner. So, I will notate all of that down in my port. Yeah. You make it over to Vesper's cell, and Vesper, what are you doing? Crying. <laughs> yeah. That Crying's seems, a reaction. It seems like the right thing to do on your first night in prison. Uh, sure, it's mm. common. Yeah. Um, I'll open the door, kind of knocking on the jam. It's on, you know, being, hey, I've spoken with Seer, and we are all on the same page as far as things go. Now, we're going to have to delay about a week because, well, you know what? We might not have to delay. Is there a ship docked here right now, DM? Uh, at the moment, there is probably in one of the bays. Okay. See, I've done... I've I've done one piloting through some solar flare activity, and it was dangerous, but I pulled it off. We might be able to think of a way to get out of here and not be followed by anyone. I'll have to check out the ship and see what it can handle, but might be getting out of here sooner. If not, we'll have to delay our escape by a week until solar flares calm down, because that does uh, make travel difficult. Definitely. So, prepare. Be ready. No, or... Don't, don't, don't get too comfortable, is all I'm saying. You're not going to be here for the long haul, and... Yep, you just gotta keep yourself safe for a week or so. And I set a knife down on top of the desk that's in her room or whatever. Or on the, you know, water tank of the toilet. Whatever flat surface is nearby. Oh, that's right, because you, you never saw the fact that she picked up the piece of metal. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't know. So I just, I set down a knife and, uh... My I, yeah. <laughs> this is, uh... Can I just ask? Yeah. What... What do the rebels want with a senator's daughter? Well, there's some good things and some bad things that they might want. So, I don't so know. It could potentially be walking into something worse. Yeah. But, good news is you got two people here who like you are going to be coming along with us and don't hold any loyalty to me. And I'm pretty sure I just gave them both knives. So 
If you can win them over, then you'll probably be fine if you don't like where you're going. They'll kill me. And you don't like me? I don't care. I was paid to do this. I've done easier jobs, done harder jobs, done a lot worse things. So, it's whatever to me. All right. You head off to the temporary guards' barracks, uh, makeshift sleeping area, uh, Samuel and Vesper. You stay in your room. Egg and Seer, you are laying in your beds. Uh, what, what, what's happening in, in your cell? I, I hold up the dagger and say, what's this for? Escape. And Seer's just like, out of it, just kind of like plops the dagger down and just walks over towards the cot and just kind of just lays down upon it and just is like not even responding to Egg's presence. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's preposterous. How could this help us escape? It can't even break through the two inch steel they have on the outside of. Uh... Sir, usually this is where you cut in with an eye roll. Are you all right? Yes. I simply have been reminded of my duties. Oh. Well, with the god and the stuff. With this god and this stuff? Yeah. With the with the, the god you told me was benevolent and ready and that we should readily help. Because God, do you not mission. listen to yourself? I, you understand that you're a fool, don't you? A blind idiot! That is the part of a family of blind idiots! You want to topple the Empire? Well, you realize the Empire and all its affiliates are the only thing keeping this galaxy from slipping into chaos? I see what's going on here. You wanted Winter's extra meal. Sure. Tell. Hey, Seer, you know, when I came here, I didn't know what was going on, and I have to admit, sometimes I wonder, my brothers who left me, are they even coming? But you, you've been a true friend. And I know I can count on you and trust you. You're losing your temper, which means something important is happening. And I want to be part of it and help you. That's all I've ever done. That's all I was ever good for. So let me do that. I don't deserve that kindness. But thank you. We need to kill Windless. (laughs) Oh! Oh, that's what this is for! (laughs) <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, I don't really want to do that. Uh, he's why? a threat to the world. Oh, why? He's an oracle, and it is my job as Templar to destroy rogue elements like this when they arise. It is oh. more important than the safety of the Empire, it's the safety of the galaxy as we know. Oh, why? Because oracles disrupt the foundation of our understanding of causal space. An oracle peers through the firmament, and when they do, other things may be peering back beyond it. Uh, casual space, right. Causal, it, never mind. It is I'll... very important that Windless does not leave this station. Is this tied into the escape plan? It is more important than the escape plan. At least it is now for me. But. Well, Seer, you're my friend. Oh, but he's also my friend. <laughs> what would Alpha Crash do? <laughs> 
<laughs> I think I'm gonna look over at. Uh, I think I'm gonna look over at uh, our dear buddy and just like like shake my head and go. I have no idea. Maybe Alpha Crash would just tell you to sleep. And I'm going to use my power to disrupt memory and just wipe that entire conversation from <laughs> Egg's mind. Sure. I don't think Egg is capable of resisting. So. <laughs> uh, That's fair. Oh, poor Egg. So, so it's like, uh, what's this for? The rebellion, I've explained to you a thousand times, Egg. Oh. Do you not listen? Sorry, my memory's uh, been failing me lately. Great. <laughs> All right. Good yeah. night. Yeah. And as you go to sleep, uh, it's almost as if your head hits the pillow. And for the first night in a while, Seer, you have purpose. That means something. And when you wake in the morning, you look at the calendar to see where it is you're heading off to first thing for your rotational. And it seems everybody is going to labor. And so you all gather up and you head to your assembly line spots. You see Vesper, you see Egg, you see Samuel. Uh, Windless is nowhere to be found at the moment. And the guards kind of usher you to your stations. Come on now, we've got stuff to do. Do I know what happened to Windless as the guard? You do not. Okay. Seer, have you seen Winter's Bone? I don't know where he is. <laughs> no, I haven't seen Windless either. Vesper, how are you? I've had a better night's sleep. Vesper, yes. Seer told me about the plan, Wink. The Which plan. for you is the rebellion. <laughs> <laughs> You're a rebel. Isn't that wonderful? We're two peas in a can, as Alpha Crash used to say. Is that the same? Okay, pretty much. Um, I'm not a rebel. <laughs> Let's try and be quiet about that. Even in these loud environments. They're egg. Right. I'm just here buffering. Yeah. I mean, it... yep. <laughs> All right, everybody to your places. Uh, you, new girl. You're on the press today. Okay, how does this work? Press comes down. Move item. Or move debris. Just like that. Over and over again. Super easy. Okay. And you begin your work shift just, you know, having a productive time when Egg and Seer you hear a troublesome voice again and you see as only Samuel is in here as far as guards go listen I told you you were going to get your comeuppance and this is uh this is that time. And a few of the other people stop their jobs as they all kind of turn and face you. You hear that, Seer? They're giving us cold muffins. I'm hungry. We don't even have breakfast. I lock the doors. All right. <laughs> Boys? And they come in at you uh, just absolutely. I mean, it's a lot of guys. Whoa! 
How many guys is it? Maybe I don't lock the doors. <laughs> uh, it, it's That's like it's like eight guys. It is it is doable for Egg and Seer and mm-hmm. even Vesper. And you know that at least your team for sure has weapons. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Then I'll oh, seeing that. I think I'll look. I think talking with Seer and seeing him kill someone with his mind and Egg stopping two lead pipes. I'm gonna just say okay. And uh, I think you're going to see a side of Samuel as he kind of starts locking the door and this excitement (laughs) at what is about to happen and the chaos that's going to occur. He's he's not. He's not. He's not scared or afraid of this happening. And as you all kind of prepare yourselves for this inevitable battle, uh, you see as Samuel, you hear a knock on the door. Tink, 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 tink. You see Winless as Winless looks at you and goes, sorry, I'm late, and then looks up. And his face goes completely pale as he gazes upon the scene in front of him. Nobody is working any of the equipment. Nobody is relieving any of the pressure. And as it all builds, one of the pipes bursts and explodes. This is going to be a Game Master intrusion, Vesper. You can take an experience and give it to somebody else. Um, Okay. I'm uh, gonna give it to Egg. Okay. Hey, thank you. As this pipe bursts next to you, 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 as this pipe bursts next to you, you are pushed and land on the conveyor. Your arm in the way of the stamp as it comes down, and everything goes black. And that is where we are going to end for tonight. I specifically told her how to avoid that. <laughs> <laughs> I gave I a whole anecdote. So, oh, I feel so bad for Vesper. What a fucking shit show. <laughs> it's, it's, Absolutely. Yeah. It's like, hey, I'm going to oh, rescue no. you and bring you to people who want to hold you hostage, maybe? Yeah. I don't know. Absolutely. Well, so guys, that was super fun. And I'm very excited to see where this story takes yeah. us um, as it's going to be something. <laughs> yeah, I I was not uh, in all of my story and everything. I considered zero magic. And so having like oracles being read to me like this is me experiencing all this firsthand too. Where I'm like the hell this guy's got this guy's talking about some dark god i'm like nine gods in the gut none of this matters like what are you talking about this isn't a thing this isn't important there's a guy with a spaceship and guns that's the problem yep Yep. definitely Uh, i'm gonna hit stop recording